Three Eye Atlas, this strange interstellar visitor, is not just a comet, not just a frozen rock from another star system. So Three Eye Atlas isn't your typical frozen wanderer from deep space. This enigmatic interstellar visitor has scientists questioning everything they thought they knew about comets, asteroids, and the very limits of natural phenomena in our solar system. September 25th marked a date that will be etched into astronomical history forever. Our star unleashed its fury in a display of raw cosmic power that no living human had ever witnessed. Days beforehand, the sun's surface churned violently with ominous dark sunspots and massive looping arcs of superheated plasma, like the eerie calm before nature's ultimate storm. At precisely 347, UTC, the inevitable eruption, finally arrived. A blinding explosion of light erupted across the solar disk as a colossal loop of ionized gas rose tens of thousands of miles above the surface, then violently broke free and rocketed into the void of space. This coronal mass ejection wasn't merely radiation and heat cascading outward. We're talking about billions upon billions of tons of electrified plasma, woven through with twisted magnetic fields, screaming through space at over 1.6 million miles per hour. Scientists monitoring live data feeds watched in stunned disbelief as their instruments pegged far beyond maximum capacity. The calculations were staggering. Approximately 1.2 trillion megatons of pure kinetic energy. To put that incomprehensible number into perspective, take every single nuclear weapon humanity has ever constructed, then multiply that destructive force by 20 million times. Or consider the cataclysmic asteroid impact that wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago, then imagine 20 such apocalyptic events detonating simultaneously, all directed at a single point in space. NASA's sophisticated space weather prediction models tracked the expanding shockwave as it rolled through the inner solar system like an unstoppable wall of stellar fire. The targeting was chillingly precise. Aimed directly at 3I Atlas, the massive emerald-hued interstellar object racing toward a dangerously close encounter with Mars. For months, this glowing green enigma had been deeply unsettling the scientific community. It was already exponentially heavier than any documented comet in astronomical records, tipping the scales at over 33 billion tons with a solid core stretching more than 5 kilometers across. The source of its eerie green luminescence came from gases and metallic compounds that simply don't belong in any ordinary comet's composition. Diatomic carbon, nickel, cobalt, elements that seem more consistent with industrial emissions than pristine cosmic ice. Now, at the precise moment of its closest solar approach, it was about to absorb a direct hit from the most devastating solar storm ever recorded in human history. In observatories spanning from Hawaii to Chile to the Canary Islands, astronomers crowded into darkened control rooms, eyes locked on glowing monitors with anxious anticipation. Previous comets had been observed losing their tails or even completely disintegrating under far weaker coronal mass ejections. This particular blast was orders of magnitude more powerful, a sledgehammer blow of star-forged plasma capable of completely shredding a gas giant's protective magnetosphere, strong enough to twist Earth's magnetic field into catastrophic knots. When the plasma wave finally slammed into 3 Eye Atlas, the spectacle was both immediate and absolutely shocking. The brilliant green tail whipped violently, tearing away and dissolving into the solar wind in under 60 seconds. The glowing coma surrounding its nucleus collapsed inward like a dying star. Spectroscopic data from Chile's Cerro Tololo Observatory showed its brightness plummeting. Doppler measurements from NASA's Deep Space Network registered a breathtaking deceleration, from a blistering 137,000 miles per hour down to barely 5,000, as though some invisible cosmic hand had slammed the emergency brakes. For the first time since astronomers discovered this mysterious visitor, the mighty green wanderer appeared as nothing more than a dark, lifeless chunk drifting helplessly toward the sun. Across research facilities worldwide, scientists erupted in celebration. Months of sleepless nights filled with speculative dread seemed to evaporate instantly. The anomalous mass readings, the unexplained green glow, the worrisome Mars flyby, 
the whispered fears of an alien mothership, all of it apparently neutralized by our own star's wrath. It felt like witnessing the climactic ending of a cosmic thriller where the monster finally burns up in the final scene, but then reality shattered every assumption. Exactly, two hours and seven minutes after impact, a faint flicker emerged from within the darkened core. It pulsed once, twice, then exploded into a beacon so brilliant it completely saturated detector arrays. Sensors aboard the European Space Agency's solar orbiter detected a massive surge of emissions. The identical signature of nickel, cobalt, and diatomic carbon compounds detected earlier. But exponentially stronger, richer, utterly unmistakable. In a single, heart-stopping moment, a brand new tail burst forth from the nucleus with perfect symmetry. Glowing that same impossible emerald green, now even more brilliant than before, speed readings began climbing exponentially, 10,000 miles per hour, 50,000, 100,000, until the object was once again blazing along at its original 137,000 miles per hour, locked onto its Mars trajectory as though absolutely nothing had occurred. What scientists were observing defied every established law of physics. Natural comets simply cannot withstand a plasma bombardment powerful enough to vaporize entire planets, then casually regenerate their tails and restore their velocity within minutes. Even the most powerful planetary magnetic field in our entire solar system would have been violently torn apart by such a blast. Yet here sat 3 eye Atlas, emerald tail blazing defiantly, racing at full speed as if it had somehow consumed the sun's fury instead of succumbing to destruction. Researchers sat frozen before their monitors in stunned silence. No natural comet possesses the capability to regrow its tail and regain exact velocity within such a brief time frame, especially not after being struck by a plasma wave capable of boiling oceans dry. Even Jupiter, the solar system's most powerful planet, would have been severely scorched under that astronomical assault. Yet 3 eye Atlas continued onward, its brilliant green tail streaming behind it, seemingly mocking the very foundations of physics itself. Dr. Antonio Lopez, a renowned astrophysicist specializing in solar dynamics, explained the phenomenon in unsettling terms. For weeks preceding September 25th, Instruments aboard NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory had detected bizarre patterns rippling across the sun's surface, tiny magnetic disturbances aligning precisely with the hemisphere facing 3 i Atlas. It appeared, he suggested, as though something was deliberately probing or stimulating the sun's magnetic field architecture until it reached a catastrophic breaking point. To Dr. Lopez, the timing wasn't mere cosmic coincidence. It seemed as though 3 i Atlas had somehow predicted exactly when the eruption would occur, or perhaps even triggered it intentionally. He compared the scenario to an ancient sailing ship raising canvas to capture an approaching gust of wind, except in this case, the wind was a billion-ton tsunami of magnetized plasma powerful enough to strip atmospheres from entire planets. Rather than being obliterated by that storm, 3 i Atlas may have deliberately positioned itself to capture and absorb the energy. We've never observed anything remotely comparable, Dr. Lopez stated. If this truly is a comet, it possesses a propulsion and shielding system that transcends our current understanding of physics. Dr. Lopez's working hypothesis suggests the object isn't a conventional snowball of ice and cosmic dust whatsoever but rather a colossal machine encased within some form of invisible protective barrier. Imagine an enormous magnetic bubble or an incredibly sophisticated electromagnetic containment field surrounding the entire structure. Such advanced shielding could redirect the sun's plasma around the craft, efficiently harvest the raw energy and channel portions of it into internal systems. Under this model, the coronal mass ejection that should have proven fatal would instead function as a strategic refueling operation, he even ventured speculation about the propulsion mechanism that could enable such extraordinary capabilities. One possibility involves an advanced fusion drive augmented by an unknown catalyst, potentially derived from exotic dark matter interactions. Conventional fusion reactions, like those powering our own sun, 
require incomprehensible temperatures and crushing pressures. However, if a civilization possessed the technology to catalyze fusion through exotic matter, they could operate a stellar-scale power plant using the sun's own plasma as renewable fuel. While highly speculative by Earth's current scientific standards, such technology represents a logical evolutionary path for a civilization millions of years more advanced. Within such a framework, a coronal mass ejection transforms from a death sentence into a convenient energy source. Dr. Lopez highlighted compelling evidence supporting this revolutionary interpretation. Reanalysis of Archival Hubble Space Telescope Data and ground-based observations revealed polarization measurements suggesting an extremely smooth, uniform surface beneath the luminous coma, completely unlike the irregular. Pockmarked surfaces characteristic of known comets. Radar return signals from the Goldstone Deep Space Network antenna detected a faint lattice-like pattern fundamentally inconsistent with natural celestial bodies. Most tellingly, the object's mass distribution analysis revealed a dense outer shell with a suspiciously hollow interior, precisely matching theoretical predictions for a manufactured megastructure rather than a solid rocky or icy core. When you synthesize all available evidence, Dr. Lopez explained, the simplest, most logical explanation is that we're not observing a natural object whatsoever. We're witnessing a machine actively harvesting energy from our star. The mysterious pulsating brightness variations could represent its fusion drive modulating output in response to incoming solar radiation, while its apparent increase in mass might result from systematically gathering interplanetary material, essentially refueling itself in transit. This would elegantly explain why it appeared to grow progressively more massive approaching the Sun, why its spectroscopic signature matched industrial alloys rather than pristine ices, and why it effortlessly shrugged off the sun's most catastrophic plasma storm as though it were nothing more than a gentle breeze. The numbers backed up these deeply unsettling conclusions. Following the coronal mass ejection impact, 3i Atlas wasn't merely intact, it appeared brighter, larger, and substantially more massive, as though it had actively fed upon stellar energy. Mass estimates climbed past 33 billion tons. Magnetic field strength readings from interplanetary monitoring probes spiked dramatically. Instruments precisely tracking Mars' orbital path detected a subtle yet undeniably measurable gravitational influence, several hundred meters of displacement over just a handful of days. For the first time in recorded astronomical history, an object originating from beyond our solar system was exerting measurable force on an entire planet. As 3i, Atlas, streaked past its new perihelion point, astronomers detected something even more disturbing. Mars's orbital trajectory had shifted infinitesimally, yet measurably, by several hundred meters, forcing planetary ephemeris models to be urgently updated to account for this unprecedented gravitational or magnetic anomaly. The implications were staggering beyond comprehension. 3i, Atlas's magnetic field strength was so extraordinarily intense it could literally tug on an entire world. Even more unnerving, its flight path was unmistakably hyperbolic, the characteristic open-ended trajectory of an interstellar wanderer. Unlike planets, comets, and asteroids permanently locked into closed elliptical orbits and gravitationally bound to the sun, a hyperbolic trajectory indicates the object is not captured by solar gravity whatsoever. If its magnetic field continues intensifying as it approaches Mars, the red planet could be gradually dragged away from its stable billion-year-old orbit. Over time, even microscopic perturbations can cascade catastrophically, fundamentally altering the delicate orbital resonances maintaining stability throughout the inner solar system. This slow, invisible gravitational push could snowball into absolute chaos. Intense meteor storms sweeping across Earth's skies as asteroid families are flung sunward, and Mars itself gradually spiraling closer with each subsequent revolution around the Sun. In the most extreme computational models, Mars's destabilized trajectory eventually intersects Earth's orbital path after multiple revolutions 
creating the genuine possibility of a planetary collision or devastating chain reaction of impacts unprecedented since the violent formation of our solar system over 4.5 billion years ago. Even without a direct catastrophic collision, the gravitational disruption could permanently warp the orbits of both Earth and Mars, scramble our ocean tides and seasonal cycles, and transform the inner solar system from a predictable celestial clockwork mechanism into a chaotic cosmic billiards table where no world remains safe. No documented comet possesses such capabilities. No known natural celestial object combines both sufficient mass and active magnetic field strength to measurably distort planetary orbits across millions of miles of space. Even Jupiter, with a mass 318 times greater than Earth's, possesses a magnetosphere nowhere near powerful enough to pull Mars off course from such distances. For 3i Atlas to accomplish this feat, it would require a magnetosphere billions of times more intense than Earth's protective field and an energy generation capacity rivaling the continuous output of a main-sequence star. In other words, technology so far beyond our current capabilities that we can barely conceptualize the underlying physics. For now, every telescope, every space probe, every astronomical instrument on Earth and in orbit remains focused on the impending Mars flyby. Within mere days, 3E Atlas will pass within 1.67 million miles of the Red Planet, cosmically speaking, practically a near miss. Space agencies worldwide have redirected every available observation platform toward monitoring this historic encounter, desperate to determine whether the magnetic anomaly stabilizes or intensifies. If Mars experiences additional orbital wobble, the implications for Earth become immediate and existential. Dr. Lopez grimly acknowledges that our most advanced planetary defense systems are utterly useless against something of this unprecedented scale. Nuclear warheads, kinetic impactors, even theoretical gravity tractor systems are specifically designed to deflect asteroids measuring a few hundred meters across, not confront a five-kilometer alien megastructure wielding stellar-level energy reserves. Do you believe 3I Atlas represents a natural interstellar comet following the laws of conventional astrophysics? Or could humanity be witnessing genuine alien technology actively harvesting our sun's energy? Share your theories in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you never miss our next critical update as this unprecedented cosmic mystery continues to unfold.